At the University of Los Angeles, a new freshman, Sarah Matthews, is settling into her dorm room. Sarah takes her side of the room and unpacks before her roommate arrives. She meets another freshman, Tracy, and her roommate, Kim, and the three of them go to a fraternity party. Sarah drinks, dances, and catches the attention of Steven, the drummer in the band. As she turns to leave the dance floor, the drummer bumps into her and spills beer all over her shirt. As they talk, they notice a drunk Tracy raise her shirt and flash the party, so they decide to take her home. Sarah thanks Steven and kisses him goodnight. When she walks into her room, she trips over some luggage. Her roommate, Rebecca, has moved in. Sarah sleeps off her drunken stupor and wakes up the next day to meet Rebecca. While shopping for supplies in the bookstore, Sarah's phone rings. She recognizes the caller as Jason, her ex-boyfriend. They both applied to college. Sarah was accepted at Brown, but Jason was not, so they agreed to go to Ula together. Brown had an opening for Jason a week ago, and he took it, even though Sarah had given up the opportunity to go there because of him. When they return to the room, they look at each other's artwork. Sarah is a fashion design major, while Rebecca is an art major. Rebecca admires Sarah's portfolio, but when Sarah asks to see Rebecca's sketchbook, Rebecca politely declines, explaining that she will not share it until it was perfect. At her fashion design class, Sarah arrives late and pauses at the door. Professor Roberts is speaking, and after class, Sarah asks him if he will sign a waiver to add her to the class, which is already full. He initially says no, but mentions that she can take it another class. Sarah says she'd prefer to wait until next year to take it with him. He changes his mind and admits her, claiming she possesses two qualities he cannot teach, style and desire. Tracy visits Sarah and Rebecca's room and invites them to a nightclub with her. Rebecca declines, but Sarah decides to go and puts her phone in Tracy's purse for the evening. At the club, Tracy gets hit on by a guy. After a while, Sarah notices that Tracy has left. Without her phone or purse, Sarah is unable to leave. She walks to a diner and makes a collect call to Rebecca. A little later, Rebecca arrives at the diner where she mentions that she is taking Sarah to see the sights of the big city the next day, promising she won't abandon her like Tracy did. The following day, Sarah and Rebecca visit an art gallery, where Rebecca tells Sarah that her favorite artist is Richard Price. Sarah looks at Rebecca's favorite painting and is slightly disturbed by it, but she smiles anyway. They pass a tattoo shop, and Rebecca says she could never get a tattoo, while Sarah insists, she already has one. She shows Rebecca a tattoo over her breast that says Emily. Sarah explains that Emily was her older sister, who died when Sarah was nine years old. Sarah goes jogging while Rebecca digs through her belongings and puts on her perfume and necklace. On her way home, Sarah discovers a stray kitten and sneaks it into the dorm. Rebecca agrees they should keep it, and they name him Cuddles. Later, Sarah notices Rebecca wearing her necklace and informs her that she can borrow anything from her except the necklace, which is the only thing she has left from her sister. Sarah has found a job at the coffee shop. It's her first day, and she accidentally messes up a blender full of smoothie. Stephen arrives, asks her out to dinner, and she accepts. Tracy apologizes for abandoning Sarah the other night. As they reconcile, Rebecca gives her a hostile look. After that, Rebecca informs Sarah that she has tickets to Richard Price's gallery exhibit. Sarah initially tells her that she already has plans, but seeing Rebecca's sad look, she decides to cancel her plans and accompany Rebecca. Sarah sends Stephen a brief text to cancel their dinner date. The following morning, Tracy opens her door to find Rebecca waiting there, looking as if she is threatening her. This prompts Tracy to warn Sarah that something is off about her roommate and to stay away from her, but Sarah ignores the warning. After class, Sarah receives a text from an older acquaintance, Irene, who is a stylist traveling around the world. They plan to get together. That night, Tracy enters the dorm showers, and the lights suddenly go off. She searches the room but finds nothing and no one. When the lights come back on, she is attacked by someone who smothers her with a shower curtain, whispering in her ear, you are a bad influence on her, you trashy party whore. The attacker then threatens to kill her if she tells anyone about this and rips out Tracy's belly ring, throwing it at her. Meanwhile, Rebecca is hysterical in her dorm room, and Sarah isn't home. She keeps calling Sarah's cell phone until she hears her in the hall. As Sarah and Stephen kiss, Rebecca emerges and yells at her, asking where she has been and expressing concern. Sarah tells Rebecca that she doesn't have to call or worry anymore. While the two are together, Rebecca constantly follows them, eventually stalking Stephen at the library. Later, Sarah asks Tracy why she decided to leave the dorm building. Tracy is unable to explain the real reason. Rebecca joins them, and Tracy seems frightened and quickly departs. 
Rebecca simply says that Tracy has always been a flake. A few days later, Sarah and Stephen are in a park, taking in the scenery of Los Angeles after a date. Sarah wonders if they're going to her place, which has a twin bed and a roommate, or his. They go to his room to make love. Meanwhile, Rebecca is back in her room, anxious because it's 1 a.m. and Sarah isn't home. She hears a phone ring, and it's Sarah's. The caller ID says it's Jason. Rebecca answers, mumbling as Jason speaks. She whispers to him, saying she misses feeling him and wonders if he misses touching her. While he speaks, she satisfies herself and then tells him, don't ever call me again, before hanging up. After the resident advisor discovers them with the cat, Sarah approaches Irene and asks if she wants cat. Irene says no since she travels a lot and doesn't have time to take care of a cat. Instead, Irene invites her to move in with her because the apartment is huge and she can have her pet. Sarah thinks it's a great idea. When she returns to the dorm, Sarah tells Rebecca about the plan, and Rebecca freaks out. Sarah advises her to calm down, saying it's just something to think about, and that if she does move, they can keep the cat. After Sarah leaves the room, Rebecca takes the cat to the laundry room, where she places it in the dryer, and starts it. Several weeks later, Professor Roberts invites Sarah to stay after class. He tells her that the budget permits him to take an assistant to Fashion Week in Paris, and he asks if she wants to accompany him. Before she can respond, he leans in and kisses her. She pushes him away and leaves, disgusted. She tells Rebecca about it and how sick he is, especially given that he is married. That evening, Rebecca visits him in his office, pretending to be interested in enrolling in his class. She claims she'll do anything. And when he is tempted to kiss her, she starts screaming and shouting. She shows him that she records the entire conversation and walks away. The next day, Sarah has a substitute teacher for her morning class because Professor Roberts is on leave. She tells Rebecca that the rumor is that someone played a recording of him hitting on a student, just like he did with Sarah, to the dean, and that he will not be returning. While Sarah and Stephen are busy with their affair, Rebecca smacks herself hard in the face, resulting in bruises. She also cuts her stomach with Sarah's craft blade. When Sarah notices her injuries, Rebecca tells her that the cat ran away and that when she went looking for it, she was jumped and beaten by a thug in a desolate alley. Sarah urges her to report it to the police, but Rebecca refuses. A few weeks later, Sarah and Rebecca celebrate Thanksgiving at Rebecca's family's house in Beverly Hills. It's large, and it's clear she comes from an affluent family. Rebecca's parents, Jeff and Allison, are astonished that she is home because she did not call to say she was coming. The next day, Rebecca plans to show Sarah around town. When Rebecca isn't present, her mother talks to Sarah. It was revealed that Rebecca is taking medication, which bewildered Sarah. The two girls explore Rebecca's hangout and have coffee at Rebecca's favorite spot. A group of girls walks in and sneers at Rebecca. Rebecca feels uncomfortable, so they leave. On her way out, one girl tells Rebecca, we were never friends. When they return to the dorm, Rebecca tells Sarah that she is inspired and will go to the studio to sketch rather than wait for her. After Rebecca leaves, Sarah goes through her stuffs and finds a prescription. It is for medication used to treat psychotic conditions such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. The medication remains untouched, indicating that Rebecca has never taken it. Sarah and Stephen decide that it is time for Sarah to move into Irene's place. Meanwhile, Rebecca does not go to the studio. Instead, she visits a nightclub where Irene is hanging out with a group of random women. Rebecca hits on Irene in the restroom, and they decide to return to Irene's apartment together. In the morning, Rebecca returns to the dorm. Sarah begins to tell Rebecca that she is moving out, but Rebecca begs her to accompany her to get a tattoo. Sarah goes with Rebecca and waits. When she's finished, Sarah asks to see the tattoo, which is a copy of Sarah's and says Emily. Rebecca says, now think of me as your sister. Sarah feels unwell and runs away. While packing, she notices her jewelry is missing but refuses to look for it again. Jason comes to town and leaves a message on Sarah's phone, which she never responds to. He goes to her dorm and leaves a note under the door, asking to see her and for her to come to his hotel room. Rebecca gets in the shower, and as she does, she dyes her hair to look like Sarah. Rebecca goes to Jason's hotel and takes a room key from a maid. She undresses and climbs into bed behind Jason. She kisses and straddles him. He sees the jewelry and tattoo and smells the scent, just like Sarah's, before she stabs him with Sarah's art blade. Sarah is supposed to meet Stephen at 10 p.m. for a frat party, but she does not show up. He checks his phone and finds a message from Sarah, 
Irene is back and needs her, so she is heading there and asks him to meet her. Sarah arrives at Irene's flat to find the front door wide open. Sarah enters the bedroom and sees Irene screaming. Rebecca appears with a gun pointed at Sarah. She claims that all she has ever wanted is to be Sarah's friend, which is why she got rid of Tracy, the cat, and Professor Roberts. Sarah tries to reassure Rebecca by telling her she is her friend and asking her to forgive her, and Rebecca forgave her. Wanting to get rid of Irene, Sarah confronts her. Sarah and Rebecca battle, turning over furniture as the gun slides out of the room. When Rebecca goes to retrieve the gun, Sarah locks her out of the bedroom. She attempts to free Irene, but Rebecca grabs the gun and starts shooting at the door. Irene tells Sarah to climb out the window, but there is no fire escape. Sarah is at the window when Rebecca shoots her way in. Sarah falls out and clings to the curtain. Stephen assaults Rebecca from behind and knocks her unconscious. While dragging Sarah back inside, Rebecca slaps Stephen hard, knocking him out. Rebecca then pulls Sarah inside, and they continue to fight. Sarah grabs the gun and points it at Rebecca, pulling the trigger, but the gun is unloaded. Rebecca shouts and rushes at Sarah. They struggle, and Rebecca's purse tips over. Rebecca chokes Sarah, who struggles to reach the blade. She manages to grasp it and stabs Rebecca in the back, saying, I was never your friend. Sarah retrieves her necklace from Rebecca, then rushes to Stephen. In the final scene, Sarah moves to a new dorm, and Stephen joins her in her new room. She asks him to help her with one task, push the second bed out into the hallway and leave it there. For more videos similar to this, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.